Falwell, Notion, TikTok, and Google Calendar. What do these three apps have in common? They're very free applications. They can be upgraded if need be, but for the most part, are very simple, effective, and can be used in a three-pronged approach. A manager notes, tasks, and your calendar. Let's get into it. First and foremost, it all starts with Google Calendar, does it? Doesn't it? Does, does It does, right? I think. Usually, yeah. And when I look at Google Calendar, what I see is an option to go to this plus symbol right here, get add-ons, and then type in tick tick. That's right, tick tick. Tick tick is an application that once you install it, you're allowed to not only use this on your Google Calendar, that's right, you're also able to use it in your Gmail as a little sidebar addition. That's right, I was giving you a little tidbit of information. Now I'm giving it all. We installed it over here, and you'll see it'll load in a moment. If you're at a company, you'll see that it'll install on all of the different sidebars over here. So you'll see that it installed on TickTick. So now, when interacting with an email, you can see from here, there was a new Morgan meeting that was booked. So it'll take not only the task name, but it'll also take the task content. So essentially the uh, body of the email as notes within it. So at the top, we're able to put a due date. So I can put the due date to today. I can change this to create setup notes for Ali Shwanky podcast. Then at the bottom, I can either put it in my inbox, any of the lists that I have already within Todoist, already within TickTick, or I can also mark the priority. So I'm gonna just put it in my inbox really quick. Uh, and then actually I'm gonna put it in my RP notes and the, I'm gonna put it in my inbox really quick and then press add task. Now there, go to TickTick itself or just press view task and it will pop us right into TickTick in our browser. And then yes, if I click that, it does in fact hyperlink back to the email, which is extremely convenient. Now when dealing with this application, we have a hyperlink to the email and the contents of it as well. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the TickTick application and just call out some of the ways that you can set up this system. So TickTick is comprised of lists, tasks, and even habits, and it has a Pomodoro timer in there, so it's all really nice baseline productivity app stuff. And what I would recommend that you do is you have a naming convention and color code system similar to something like this. On the bottom left here, you can see I have a work tag, a side hustle tag, a housekeeping tag, and a couple other ones as well. And in a task list over here, what you can do is you can group them by tags. So then you could group your different tasks that you're putting together by tags. And in this, we could have a equally color coded management system of our time. So for example, as you can see here, housekeeping is gonna be orange, yellow, very colorblind, sorry. Side hustle is gonna be red, work is gonna be orange, and ad hoc and life stuff's gonna be blue, which is the same as my time blocking system in Google Calendar. I'm able to manage all of this kind of stuff going on in my life by making sure things are color coded accordingly. It keeps me mentally on track by having the same color coordination across all of my different tools just like a Notion. So now what I have here is just a meetings and notes section. So in this, what I can do, and I, I've shown how to do this in other videos, is you can do a Google Calendar sync to Notion with uh, meeting notes. Uh, what I have here is, for example, a sync between my Google Calendar and my Notion that allows me to quickly click on the event link and see the event in Notion itself and Google Calendar itself. You can see it was created by make.com and has the date and time of the actual meeting on here. This allows me to have a really nice note taking application that can connect to my Google Calendar so I can take notes about these kind of things. And then what I would do from here is I would take any of these action items I would find at the bottom and just quickly input them into TickTick. Uh, a great way to do this is I have a keybind set up where I could, for example, find someone to do research for the YouTube channel. 
put a little tag for side hustle and make it a priority high tomorrow. And then you can see in the next seven days, we have this right here for tomorrow. If I wanted to, in the description, I can always just hyperlink the note that I took it in from Notion. And when I click on it, if I had it set up to always bring me to the Notion app instead of the web browser, then that would be a little bit more convenient. I do not have that set up for my own account for personal reasons, but in your workflow, you could easily click from this to there, to there, and then you'd have a much simpler workflow back and forth. I think a lot of people just didn't know probably about the fact that you have these little integrations, you know, like just having, you know, like a tick tick integration or an Asana integration in your Gmail is, is pretty big. And, and I wanted to point that out because somehow people don't know this is a thing and it's, it's a little upsetting. So if you want to be a little bit ups, less upset about just a basic workflow, I would definitely try out these apps together. They will look nice, will be nice and simple. You won't have to really pay for anything. Uh, that make.com option is a little bit extra. You can pay for that. I will point out having a make.com subscription can save you time across all of your workflows, but definitely check out more automation videos that I've made as they can help you save time, do more, just like this video would right here.